if you're in my way, we, we, we gotta do battle. I dish out just as much as you dish out, you know, this is fair. Stewart inside, and Reed comes back, and down goes Stewart, and down goes Reed! To contenders, and oh, Stewart cuts to the inside, and takes the lead! This crowd will lose their minds if Chad Reed passes Stewart! My rivalry with James, you know, like I think the on track, James and I, we respect each other, you know? Like I love the rivalry that we've had, I think that it's, it's fueled the fire for many, many years. Reed back to the inside! Oh, contact! A rivalry, I think it was just more of things happening. Here comes Stewart! Here to the inside! Section. He's gonna make that move! And then the fans got into it, and then, you know, it was just like, all right, well, I guess I'll have to keep it going, so. Well, you know, Stewart, Reed, Villapoto, Wyndham, and the rest are all thinking the same thing about this main event right here. Here we are, we find ourselves one and two uh, battling for the lead. Jeff, he's not having there any problems. to the inside. Here comes Reed up the inside, and we've got a change for the lead. Well, Stewart's bike survived through the whoops the way he wants it to. And Stewart Reed takes the lead. I missed the shift that Anaheim won. And Reed's old mechanic cheers on his rival now. Just incredible. Oh, oh he's down. He's and both down. down. They got together. They're both down. And Stewart's Stewart is down hard. I was fully committed uh, going into the whoops, um, and at that point couldn't couldn't back out of it. Drived him pretty hard into the ground, myself in, into the ground. Um, I was lucky enough to you know just I think he bent or broke a disc, so I had no front brake for the rest of the race, and I got third. But he you know hit the ground pretty hard. Uh, I think he hit his head a little bit and, and then couldn't start the bike. Aaron Bates came up to me, I remember my feeling cool. It's like, what happened? I crashed. <laughs> Did you have a slight delay? Yeah, you know, it's not anybody's fault. Just had a bad mistake. Stupid on my part. Racing, racing, guys. This is the battle of a lifetime here at Anaheim 1. 2009 had all the recipe for disaster in it, and it only got worse as the year got on, I think. Getting ready at the gate. There you saw James Stewart in a couple of slots down in the gate. Is that man, the points leader, the number one, the reigning champ of Chad Reed. In 2009, Jacksonville, um, I don't remember exactly what happened in practice. They got together, and this is the first time that we've seen them. They exchanged some words right there. There was some attitude, a little confrontation that we haven't seen. And I'm telling you, I, I liked it. You know, it was just boiling over. I knew I was faster than he was that night, and you know, I had some pretty good lines set. And I knew if I passed him, he's smart enough to see him, so you know, I was just gonna stay behind him. Stewart really charged hard through the whoops. Oh, oh boy, oh, look oh. at how tight that was right there. Oh. Here he comes from the outside again, gets a great drive out of there, but Reed holds on just in front of Stewart. There it is, here comes Stewart alongside. Still can't get to where he needs to be to complete the pass. And so I ended up passing him like, a little after halfway, and you know he came in after the triple and came in and gave me a little bump. He comes charging around the outside. Three calls to the Uh-oh. And Stewart takes the lead away. The lead comes right back. They come together. And then uh, we jumped the triple. The way I jumped the triple, I was going outside, and I was like, dude, he's going to take me out if I go outside. So I jumped to the inside. And I don't think he was expecting me, and he, he, clipped my, he clipped my back wheel, almost went down. Oh! Side for side! They flooded! I can't believe it! Oh! Reed and Stewart oh. going out, and then Reed goes it's back to the He wanted to win, I wanted to win. Just so many things fueling the fire. And, and at some point, sometime, it's gonna bubble over. Stewart can do it again, the same spot! He gets the drive! He stands him up again. So I ended up winning the race, and he comes up to me, and you know I'm all I'm all good, like you know we take it out on track, like you know whatever, you know you want to yell at me, but he put his hands on me, and like I did everything possible not to touch him. After the race, I I remember going up behind him and you know kind of putting my arm around him, almost grabbing him on the back of the neck. Nothing too crazy. I remember like I was 
just basically talking about cross jumping, you know, like don't cross jump me, you know, like you, we can take each other out when we're on the ground, you can T-bone me, do this, do that, I'm good, you know, like I dish out just as much as you dish out, you know, this is fair, but cross jumping in the air is not, not cool, and that was what I was mad about that night. We ended up getting face to face on the podium, uh, you know, it was just more, he was, he was not, he was looking at me, but he was looking through me. And I remember, like, I'm gonna stare this guy in his eyes. Like, I'm gonna stare him just in case he flinched and I have to knock him out or something. I was mad after the race. He, I, I remember it very clearly. Put fuel on the fire. I, I didn't win. I, I remember being, you know, nose to nose, face to face, or whatever you want to call it, with him on the podium. And of course, the media liked that stuff. So, uh, you know, I still, I still see those pitches around. So. It's funny, you know, we're, we're two individuals that are unique and, and we have passion and we want to win. Uh, two guys with that same thought process, something's going to happen. 2011, we're in Atlanta, going for the win, um, got to try. As we get set to go with this main event, and of course James Stewart has got to be a favorite. The funny thing was, I actually thought we was cool because at that time, uh, you know, I was I was on his old team, but Larry wasn't working for it back then. And we're sitting on the gate, and you're like, "Hey, I like we're best friends." I'm like, "I just, I ain't so bad." And I gave him Starbucks card or something like that. Oh, Stewart gets rocketing out of the gate. Oh yeah, he's gonna get the whole shot as he cuts it back to the inside. Chad Reed That's is That's our seconds. nuclear Cowboys whole shot, and Reed is right there with him. Typical James and I are racing, you know, back and forth. The intensity was high. He has, he has races, look at this. Oh, Reed tries to get inside and almost takes it away. Oh, oh and Stewart, Stewart, there's the mistake. Stewart with a little bit of a bubble and the door is open and the Australian plows through. Look now this. here's Reed and Stewart just couldn't get it done. A race that I look at is a one that, you know, kind of got away from you. Stewart oh, here. Stewart! Oh, there's oh. contact! Stewart it saves him right into his teammate! It's not over! Now, what does oh. Reed do? How does Whoa. Reed counter back? And dude, this guy cleaned my clock <laughs> in the race. And now Reed has to mount an attack! They're oh. on the Oh, they're both down! They're both down! Where's Villapoto? Where's Villapoto? There, there he goes! Ryan Villapoto is mine! We had about a half a lap to go. I think we passed each other about two or three more times. Here comes the Reed and Stewart! Here they come! Working their way to the checkered flag! Dungey gets by for second! Whoa. Reed gets by oh my god! Dungey gets second! Wow! At first, like, I remember uh, when he took me out, I was like, oh damn, man, like, I must have left that door open. So I wasn't even that pissed and I'm just, I'm riding back and my dad's like, he's pissed. Cause you know, he's like, why'd you go outside? And I'm like, not even listening to him. So I'm looking up on the screen and the big Jumbotron in Atlanta and they had a replay at it going on. And I saw him come in that, I actually closed the inside and I saw him come in and I lost it after that, you know, I lost it. And I just went back to the pits. I think I busted up a few things in my motor home, which was dumb enough cause I had to pay for it still. But yeah, that was the last time I was like, I will, I'll ever trust that guy, so. That was it. If I had the same opportunity tomorrow night, I'd do the same thing. It wouldn't matter if it was a one, a three, or a seven. You know, like you gotta try to win, especially if you feel you have a shot at it. And I felt that I had a great shot at it.